Hey guys, Carlos97 again. This time with a review of the D set of the high grade customized campaign. And this set includes the beam bazooka, some joint parts, and some beam sabers. So, first of all, we get the beam bazooka, and it's a very nice looking thing. I really like the detail on the energy canister thing on the back. Some nice lines going on. Also, very nice tubes to, well, transfer the energy, I suppose. And overall, it's quite a nicely detailed thing, even some detailing on the inside there. So overall, it's a pretty cool thing. You have some holes on both sides, so you can put some things in there, hook it up with another beam bazooka. But for now, let's see how this thing hooks up with the mobile suits. First of all, we have the standard Federation hands, and unfortunately, they're not faring too well. You can really see that the closed holding hands are pretty much absolutely worthless. They, well, the trigger will not go into the hand, so there's nothing holding it back from completely falling over. You can try to kind of jam it in there to get it up, so unless you're really gonna lock it into place, it is definitely gonna flail around, so you will have to kind of find a sweet spot for it. Also, it is very loose in there. The trigger finger hand fares slightly better, but not by a really big margin. It's definitely the best one out of the two, and well, at least now we can kinda look like he's going for the trigger, but the same thing pretty much applies. It's quite loose in there, just not as always. Once again, you're kind of going to have to find that sweet spot to really make it work. The good news, however, is once you do kind of find that spot where you have it jammed in between like the shoulder or something, it will hold on to it. The new style Xeon hands, on the other hand, are completely different. The trigger finger hand is absolutely worthless, just like the close holding hand from the Federation. But the closed holding hand for the New Zealand style hands, on the other hand, is absolutely perfect. Yes, it's not gonna grab onto the trigger, so that will kinda stick out, so it might not be as aesthetically pleasing as you'd want it to be, but functionality-wise, it's absolutely perfect. It's in there just as you'd want it to be, and that thing's not going anywhere. Trigger finger hand, on the other hand, is, well, the same story as with the Federation hands. You're gonna have to support it on the shoulder and kind of find that spot where it won't flail around as much. The older style Federation hands aren't too bad either. The close ones, just as the newer style Xeon hands, are pretty damn good. Not quite as solid as the Xeon hands, but the big difference here is it will actually hold on to the trigger as well. So this so far seems to be quite the best. And then the trigger finger hand, well, it's a bit wobbly, but, and kind of tends to jut around a bit. But once again, same story, support against the shoulder and the thing will work. And the story seems to be repeating itself with the older style Xeon hands. The close holding hands do seem to be pretty good, somewhat more wobbly than the old style Federation hands, but overall still pretty good. The trigger, once again, is in the hand, so that's great. Then the open, the older style trigger finger hands, well, quite wobbly again. But, the same thing as with all the rest. Put it against the shoulder, and the thing is gonna be pretty stable. Finally, here's the beam bazooka with the newest style all Gundam Project hands, and the older style standard Gundam Seed hands. And the newer ones, the All Gundam Project hands, they fit, but as you probably can see right here, they're not gonna hold on to the trigger. So that's unfortunate. However, the Gundam Seed hands do seem to be pretty much perfect. It's almost as if they were made for the Gundam Seed models, because they're super solid in there, grab onto the trigger, and all around seem to be just made for each other. The All Gunner Project hands, while they will hold on to the beam bazooka perfectly, just as the Gunner Seed models, they're not gonna grab onto the trigger. So overall, it seems like your best bet is to go with either these ones, or with newer Xeon models, such as the Zaku F2 here, or you're simply gonna have to prop up the beam bazooka, which is also kinda its, well, 
a forgiving factor because it's a bazooka and it's not that big of a sin to have to hold that to your shoulder in order to position it. So it's not going to be that off, but be warned that on most models, it's probably going to be quite wobbly. Moving on to the joint part, and we immediately kick off with a crazy one. This is an adapter to turn one arm into three, or two into six. And when we look at the manual, they definitely know who the target audience for this accessory is. The G Gun Advance. Because let's face it, this just screams Super Robot. Having all those arms, you can really make some crazy G Gundam-esque machines with this. Or create a souped up variant of the Gym Sniper 2. The only problem now is trying to keep its balance. And as you can see, the joints are really nice and tight. The arms aren't sagging and as you can see, they're holding some pretty heavy weaponry. So the connections of the thing itself are really solid to connect the arms to and the connection it has to go into the body is also very securely. Nothing is really holding itself up, so there's nothing uh, faking it staying up. It's absolutely all thanks to the friction that thing provides. And of course, in worst case scenario, the thing sits really tight to the body, so you can always tug it in a bit closer. Which is also a good thing, it doesn't really look like it sticks out, so if Either you want to make yourself a custom G gun MS machine, or if you just want to go all out on an artillery type machine, this is absolutely something you'd want. And when we look at our fantastic monstrosity here, we will notice that there is still one hand empty. So let's fill that up with the Tri Beam Beam Saber. This will take any of the 144 scale beams, whether they're the older, shorter ones or the newer, longer ones and they fit absolutely perfect in the hands of these standard Federation models. So the new style Federation hands will be absolutely perfect for these. Unfortunately, the only other thing in which they fit perfectly are the... Stand up, there you go. Are the newest all Gundam Project hands in which it will also fit absolutely perfect. Um, damn it. And in all the other hands, unfortunately, let's quickly move this to the side, they'll, well, they'll go in there, and depending on the pose you're having, they will kind of stay upright, but if you are come forward too much, they will kind of go floppy. So, you will have to kind of thicken the handle a bit. One final unexpected compatibility I found was with the older Victory Gunner models, they will actually fit into the hands absolutely perfectly. Just got to push them in a bit. There you go. And that's an absolute perfect fit. So it won't be a perfect fit with most of the high grade universal century machines, but it's going to be absolutely perfect for all of the victory Gundams out there. Fantastic. And was that you're saying? The tri beam just wasn't good enough. Well, how about the quad beam? The only bad news about this thing is it only works with the all Gundam project hands. I've tried so many hands and in all of them it's loose as all hell. It's gonna wobble around, fly around. So unless you, well, either use some blue tag or anything else to stick it to the hand, it's not gonna be working. The good news is pretty much all the hands can use it because it is so flimsy. So you're gonna have to glue it shut or make it stick one way or another if you want to use it on any other machine that's not part of the All Gundam project. Talking about accessories you have to stick to the hand, this handle. Now at first sight this thing seems to be absolutely awesome. It's an extra handle with a peg, meaning that you can take weapons or accessories that would otherwise be mounted on a mobile suit and then put this thing in there and then have another mobile suit wielded in his hand. So that sounds fantastic. However, the problem is compatibility. This is even worse than the quad beam saber. 
This only fits well into the all Gundam project hands. So if you want to use this handle on another machine, well, you're going to have to either stick it on there or do something else to it. Now, the good news is this is really a nice accessory. First thing you can do is, for example, when you take the bazooka here, you can use this as a second handle because it will fit in this hole and in the holes of all the other weapons. So you can use that as a second handle. Other than that, you can use it with a number of mounted things. First of all, what is mentioned in the manual is, opening it up, you have the Gundam Excess Cannon, which you can use completely with the solar panels. Now, a few other things that I have found are, once again, the Gundam Excess Cannon, but this is from the old non-high grade version and that will also just go in there there we go and well gotta put that back in there and it's an absolute perfect fit as you can see in the organ project hands it's fantastic it's quite a front heavy thing but it's not gonna give way at all so that is one piece of good news, at least it fits well in what it was intended to fit in. Now with all the other hands, it's going to sag forward, so that is kind of unfortunate. Other things it fits with is, this is the double axis cannon, but this is once again from the old non-high grade. Another thing it also fits in is the Agni, but then again that thing already has two handles on it. And those are all the things I was immediately able to find. As always, if you know something that this will also work with, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll put up some annotations here on this video. Finally, we have three backpack adapters. One which will form a striker pack for the Strike Gundam and family. And then two of these things which will go onto the Gundam X. So first of all, the striker pack adapter and this will work with the Wing Gundam's backpack here. Simply pull it off. And as always, if you know some more compatibilities with this, leave a comment down below and I'll put up an annotation. So this goes in there and then this goes onto the Striker pack. It kind of sticks out a bit, but it's not too bad. It would have been better if it was slightly more in there, but as it is, it's pretty good. And I have to say, even as a straight build, the colors do look pretty convincing, so it's not gonna look too off straight out of the box. And then for the Gundam X, we get these two thingies, simply put them on there. And then according to the manual, we can put the Master Gundams, there we go, the Master Gundams wings in there, but we can also put the Wing Gundams wings on there. And I'm going to say it once again, if you know any other compatibilities, definitely leave a comment down below and I will put up an annotation. The only unfortunate thing here is, they're not going to be quite as articulate as on the actual backpack because they can't really flap in and out now. But that's some compatibility for that. But that's not everything you can do with these because I have an extra fun use for them. An extra sword track for my Gym 2 and Gym 3. This is however combined with a little joint found in the A, B and F set. More specifically, this double one so it's fine in all three of those and then you can have this which is pretty much just an extension of the gap in here another thing you can use this for is to store beam savers on there or anything else that is round and will go in these things most beam savers will fit in here though ironically these the ones that come with the gym 2 will not well the one that comes with the gym 2 but other than that, it's an interesting extra use for this machine. And maybe some of you um, are interested in that. And that's all we're getting. So for some final thoughts on this set, well, it's definitely not as wild as some of the other sets we've seen, but that's definitely not a bad thing. 
it does what it does and it does it pretty damn good overall provided you have the right mobile suits to use with it we have the few niche things we have the striker pack thing going on we have the uh well those little ones that would seem to go exclusively with the gundam x but which are also useful for the gym 2 and the gym 3 we have some nice weapons going on definitely like uh the beam sabers we have the tri beam we have the quad beam the quad beam is unfortunate that it only really works with the all gundam project but it's still a very cool looking thing and i'm positive there are absolutely going to be quite a lot of people who would get a great use out of those and then let's not forget about the craziness of the six arms instead of two that is absolutely genius and as i've said before that's going to be absolutely amazing for people like g gundam or people who really want to make this artillery beast of a machine and then the beam zooka we're getting is also just very nice so overall it's not a how to put it mind-blowing weird um well my really fantasy is set in which you can create some weird monstrosity but you can definitely use all these things to create some really nice looking machines nonetheless so i think uh, i would say that this is definitely one of my more favorite ones when i look at all the things you can do if only the handle would have been a bit more universal if, if a few more th um models could just use it. that would have been great but so far as it is right now well we'll just have to take it as it is well that's all for this review and see you guys next time